Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday edition of Makeup with Dorian. And last week we went over um, putting on your foundation, all about the base. We used some bronzers. Today I have my base on with bronzer. It's very light, um, but I want to show you how to get a really great look with all affordable makeup. The first thing I want to do is blush up my face. Now, I love blush. So if you get you the Sephora 64, it is an amazing blush brush. Now, I have these two wonderful little um, contraptions here that I've got from uh, Ulta. And I can use the um, 350 off 15 coupon for these. And they're from Morphe. And they come with an eyeshadow on top. They have a little blush, then they have a little lip gloss, and then they have a little highlighter thing at the bottom. My favorite one is the actual pink one, and I love this pink color here. So I just dab into the blush, and then I always like to start and stamp. And so I have a mirror here that I'm looking in. It's hard to look here, but I start and stamp and just move it around on my cheek. Now, I love a lot of blush. There's a lot of people that might not. So you can kind of just stop there if you want to, but I like to go in and make sure that I build it up. It's really buildable. Now, there is an amazing blush from L'Oreal. It's called the Blush Please. I have this one in Blushing in Riviera, and then this one's in Blushing in San Tropez. And so sometimes I like to layer my blush if I don't think it's enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other side. There we go. We have the other side complete. So now I want to go in and maybe just put a little bit of a topper of the other blush on. Um, this might be something more or less like I would wear in the summer. So once I have it packed on my cheeks, it looks like a lot, but I always like to have a big fluffy brush to come in and diffuse the look. And so I'll go around and it still has some of my powder that I used in here. So I'll go and I diffuse. And I can always go back and add more or just use my brush to clean it up. A lot of people don't put their blush on until they've done their eyeshadow, but I kind of know the eyeshadow look that I'm going to do today. So you can also save that until the end. But I am going to be using one of my favorite drugstore palettes. It's, it's the Nudes of New York. And this one is the best. If you do not have this in, in your collection, you need to get it. It's amazing. So I always have this palette and then I have four brushes that I'm going to use. I'm going to use one that I can blend, one that I can pack on, and then one that I can smudge, and then another one that I can make sure that I clean up in detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my lid with a transition shade. So I'll come in. I want to be sure I find the lightest shade that's matte in the palette to go over all of my lid. And so I just take it and I just set it all over my lid on and up until my eyebrows. I've already done those today. We'll do another video on that. And so I just set here, just like so. Okay. Now some people will go ahead and put um, their eyeliner on and stuff. I kind of wait till the end for that. It was a little hot in here, so I had to throw my hair up. But anyways, so what I did is I just went in with my neutral shade, and then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of a darker shade, and then I'm going to start blending it into my crease, just like this. It's a windshield wiper motion, as you can see, back and forth. And this is going to provide depth and dimension in your eyes. Now, people that have hooded eyes, it, and you will know because basically your, your lid space disappears when you look, um, if you look forward. When you are putting on your eyeshadow, be sure that you are looking straight ahead in the mirror and then doing your crease shade like this. Just like so. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start applying and packing in some depth on the sides over here and create some dimension. So I want to go in. I do like these more um, like burnt sienna colors. I have green eyes, and so anything that has like a pink or red undertone is going to make my eyes pop. If you have blue eyes, the browns and the pinks will also help 
for your eyes to pop. And then I love that brown eyes can get away with pretty much anything, but my favorite on brown eyes is green. So I'm happy to do any of those looks. Just let me know. But for right now, I'm going to do it with what um, is best for my eyes. So I'm just going to start packing it on. And when I say pack, I'm dabbing just like this. As you can see, it's like this. Trust the process. It's going to be okay. And then I go to the other side. I like to make sure they're even before moving on. So I pack it in. And as you can see, it looks kind of crazy. But that's all right because it is going to be fabulous when I'm finished. I start to work it on into the crease just like so and do the other side. Another thing I like to do with this darker color is to make sure that I bring it underneath my um, eyes and I just look down in my mirror and I just do it just like that. So as you can see, there's still some areas over here that need to be cleaned up, which is totally fine. Once I'm finished with that, I'll go back into that lighter shade and just start cleaning up the edges on the top. More windshield wipe, wiper motions, and then start diffusing the edges out. Diffuse, diffuse. Diffuse means to make it seem lighter. I'll do the other side as well. I always make those funny faces whenever I do this. Windshield wiper motion back and forth, just like so. Now, I love a good smoky look. I can even wear that during the day. I don't care if you know me, you know that's my case. But if you want to do something lighter, I will do a lighter everyday look for you guys. But this is my favorite. Okay. All right. One thing that I love to tell anybody, clients, whatever, is that your fingers are your best tools. And so I like to go in with a lighter shade and just pat that on. Don't worry about any fallout because we're going to take the, I miss my children. We're going to take the brush and clean that away. All right. So once that is on, I just go in and I start to soften around the edges of that here with the same tool that I use to put on the edge and then just windshield wiper motion. I like to bring it down a little bit. Just like this. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to add in my eyeliner. This is my favorite drugstore eyeliner ever. Actually, I use this one. I don't use any high-end eyeliners, but I use the Infallible Pro Last, and I will link it down below, but I'm telling you, it is the best. It lasts all day. There's no running, nothing at all to it. I like to put mine in the waterline. So what I do is I will just pull just slightly. You can also just take really gently and so your eye like this if there's any fallout just or any smudging just use your hands like I told you and push it back in the next thing I like to do is tight line this might seem a little weird at first but you're basically going to be drawing up under your eyes just like that okay now comes one of my favorite parts and it's where I take a darker shadow that kind of matches the eyeliner and I start to set the eyeliner. Now, I can also create wings with this as well. So I close my eyes and I'll show you one side and how that looks opposed to the other. And I don't drag it all the way over on this side. There's no need. So you can see there's a little bit more dimension there. Do the same on this end. Okay, then I'll take my brush, go back in and clean it up here. Now, some people like shine or something shiny on their lids. And so there's uh, several options that you can use in here. So I'll go ahead and I'll just put one on there um, just to see. 
I do like all matte looks every now and again. But once you lay down a color, you need to go back in and make sure that you've blended it completely before moving on. Okay, some people like to also do their brow bone, put some highlighter up there, but you, we have to remember as we age, um, what highlighter does just that. It highlights areas that you want people to notice and so a lot of times you won't see me use highlighters on my cheeks because there is some texture and it's not really anything that i want to highlight i really didn't even use it when i was younger either all right sometimes i like to add in a little bit more and i do a liquid liner this one's from koki it is wonderful you can get these at one of the drug stores i just go on top and i like to line the lash line give it a little dip i don't go all the way in but I just line the lash line and do a little flick up, just like so. This come in from this side as well, till they look even. But we're getting ready to put mascara on, and so you'll be able to see what mascara can do to your eye. Two drugstore mascaras that I believe in. They are my holy grails when I go to the drugstore. They, to me, are just as good as the high end. The first one is the Lash Princess by Essence. And then I love the Sky High by Maybelline. I'm going to use a little bit of both today. But I'm going to show you just how amazing mascara can be. So this one will take and lengthen your lashes to the sky. Now, don't worry about any... Thing falling out or touching but no one can ever tell me that mascara is useless I mean look at it yep I do plan on getting a better camera but for right now I'm just giving you what I have but look Mascara is amazing. Then I get my bottom lash. I mean, okay, I have it both on and I did get a bunch of stuff. I have very long eyelashes. Naturally, I don't really use fake lashes, but um, I'll go in with a second coat and why not just throw them onto the sky. These are both volumizing mascaras and you can tell it's a volumizing because it comes up to a point. So this one, is volumizing as well as this so you can tell the ones that are more fluffier will be you, the ones that are going to add in more of your um to make them look thicker to make them really pop but i don't want to do that i like to let them lengthen just like so so i'm going to let my eyes dry a little bit and then i'm going to show you how i clean up around the edges I went ahead and threw on some lipstick because that will be in another segment. But what I like to do is just take a um, eyelash wand. You can get these in any kit that you want to. This one is just one that will help you kind of comb out your eyebrows or maybe um, get any of the clumpiness out of your lashes. But what I do is I just go up underneath my eye and I start cleaning off and scraping clear. As you can tell, I have some right there, and now I don't. Also, if you have any up here as well, just like so. And for one final look, I like to go under and see if I had any fallout. I just take my brush and wipe it away. And if I feel like I need to go back and add in any blush, I do. I just take whatever is left on my brush, smooth it on, and go about my day. Now, a lot of times I do like to use my setting spray before my mascara for obvious reasons. So just remember the all-nighter is wonderful, but the Maybelline and the Rimmel are your drugstore options. So don't forget to use those. So yeah, this was the drugstore options of how to apply your eyes and get something like this. And next time I can do some more high end and show you all how to do more of a um, basic everyday look.